Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can solve the Hanayama Beta Capsule Puzzle, which means I'm going to give you the, the most efficient, easiest to follow way of separating that gold star from the, the cage or the capsule, and then how you can do the reverse to put it back into its original Beta Capsule Puzzle position. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we have a, a fully assembled Beta Capsule Puzzle. And if you didn't know already, this one is actually modelled on an, an existing Hanayama puzzle called the Cage Puzzle. However, this one is much, much harder because it's a lot smaller. It's much more fidgety and it's also harder to identify certain points on the star because of its, purely because of its size. So, what we can't do is be too precise with the star, so we are going to have to apply a bit of trial and error to this one. But firstly, we need to know which of these four gaps in the capsule we're going to be using to get the star out of. And to do that, we purely just need to identify the only square, or what sort of square, that has no uh, obstruction on the left hand side of it. So if we look here, we've got a, a knobbly bit on the left here, we've got a bit here, we've got a bit here. This one is the only one without anything on the left hand side. Once we've got that, we know which one we're going to be using to come out of. The, the tough part now is identifying the shortest leg on the star, which for me, I can see is that this one that is facing up at the minute. You might not be able to see that so easy on the puzzle that I'm working on, but it'll be a little bit easier for you to see on uh, on your puzzle. But again, not, not incredibly easy to be honest, which is, which is why we now have to do a little bit of trial and error. So once you've identified the short leg, we're going to put the short leg on the left hand side as we're looking down on the beta capsule puzzle here. And what we want to do is get two of the legs that are sort of now in the middle as we're looking at it from a, from a horizontal perspective. So these two bits are in the middle, we want to bring those two pieces out the front of the puzzle. And what we're going to try and do is rotate the, the whole star uh, anti-clockwise and we've, we're going to try and get this side, so the opposite side to the shortest leg. We're going to try and get that out the front of the of the capsule, like in this position. And as it so happens, I had a 1 in 4 chance of getting it right first time, and I have done. But let's just say that we couldn't, let's say we, we struggled to get, or it was impossible to get that leg out of, the, uh, of this front part of the capsule as well. All we would do would go back to this position here with the short leg on the left hand side, rotate it so that we're using a different two and then try that same anti-clockwise move here. I'm getting nowhere near because this isn't the right position now. And again, if that was wrong, then you would just cycle to the next two and the next two until you found the right one. So there's four possibilities. Just so happens that I got it right first time. It may be the, the fourth one that you uh, managed to try. So once we've got to this position, the short leg was on the left, but we've turned it anti-clockwise to this position so that we can get this third leg out. And once we're in this position, all we need to do is keep turning the star anti-clockwise until the short leg is at the top of the, uh, of the puzzle. And then from there, that short leg can actually sneak out on this left-hand side. And once it's done that, we can then completely take the puzzle out because we've got four of the legs out there's only two remaining and it's literally just a case of lifting the star out of the capsule and that is how you disassemble the beta capsule puzzle and for putting the beta puzzle back together again we're going to do it the same way it's a little bit easier to do now because we're, we can identify the short leg on the start much easier now that it's not actually inside the capsule on here again we just need to identify which of these squares that we're going to be using and again it is the only one that has no obstruction on its left hand side so this is the one that we're going to be using so once we've got that place uh, the the correct sort of re-entry point we're going to identify that short leg and we're going to place that short leg on the left hand side of the star as we're looking down on it now and again, we're going to use a, a trial and error process of putting it back together because it could be this position, it could be this position, this position, or this position. So again, it's just yeah, purely a case of trial and error. is is the easiest way to identify it. There is ways of identifying, but it's 
the the differences between the angles and the sizes of these other legs is just too small to be able to to describe in an accurate way so what we're going to do is we've got the short leg on the left hand side we're going to place two of the legs that again relative to a, a horizontal perspective are in the middle of the star we're going to place the two legs in and we're essentially just going to undo what we did before which is a a clockwise turn which again we've got lucky first time I'm gonna do it wrong first so the short leg is on the left we've randomly picked this this leg and this leg to go in first and what we do from this position is we try and rotate clockwise the star and if we're in the right position then that short leg should slip past that left hand side and into the capsule obviously this isn't the right position because I already found the right position but if it's not, then all we do is cycle around to the next possibility, which is that I'm going to use the right one this time. And again, we just get it on the left hand side. We've got the two what happen to be the correct legs of the uh, of the star in the puzzle now. And all we do is twist clockwise until that the short leg drops in. And then all we do is just keep turning clockwise, keep turning the star clockwise until we get the next shortest leg in that top left position and again that should just then drop into the capsule and then all we need to do is carry on turning clockwise until the uh, the star essentially just falls back into the middle of the capsule and that is how we reassemble the beta capsule puzzle so there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the beta capture puzzle. It can be extremely fiddly with the size or given the size of the gold star, but stick with it, maneuver it as, as best you can and eventually if you follow those steps you will get it separated and you will then be able to put it back into its original position. Hopefully this has helped you do that. Hopefully this video has helped you do that. If you do have any questions or if you run into any issues or anything, then comment below and I will, I'll do what I can to, to help you wherever you need it. And thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me struggle through the beta capsule puzzle for the first time, or you want to see the solutions to any of these other Hanayama puzzles, then be sure to click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.